Welcome to the Contrail product demo series. In this demo, we're showcasing Contrail's capability to seamlessly chain both physical and virtual services. And the evolution towards network functions virtualization, or NFV for short, or more generally, just orchestrating virtualized cloud services, physical service devices will still play a significant role because of the desire for investment protection and satisfaction of various kinds of SLAs. Customers are the ultimate decision makers of what best suits their needs. At Juniper, we design solutions to provide freedom of choice to our customers, leveraging open, proven standards. Contrail can automate seamless chaining of both virtual and physical services, such as those available from Juniper and our technology partners. In this demo, we're going to showcase service chaining of F5's Big IP load balancer and Juniper's Firefly Perimeter Virtual Firewall. In the physical topology, the F5 Big IP is connected to a Juniper EX4550 switch and then to an MX router. The MX is the gateway for the Contrail Cloud cluster where some web server and Firefly virtual machines will run. The right hand side here shows the logical topology. Let's see how we construct this topology. From the Contrail user interface, you can see that we have configured two virtual networks, LBVN and BEDIPVN. From the OpenStack user interface, we see the virtual machine instances. We have two web server VMs, Redmind Frontend 1, and Redmine Frontend 2, with the IP addresses 192.168.102.251 and .252. They're both connected to the same backend database server instance called Redmine Backend. These three virtual machines are all part of the BEDIP VN virtual network. We've also spun up a Firefly perimeter instance sitting between the LBVN and the other BEDIP VN networks. On the F5 Big IP load balancing box, we configured a local traffic network map called Web Tier LB, which is using a resource pool called FEBE Pool. Let's take a closer look at the web tier LB configuration. We specified a virtual IP address to reach the resource pool. It's the simulated public IP address 10.102.53.13 and address translation is enabled. FEBE pool has two destination IP addresses representing the two Redmine web server virtual machines. 192.168.102.251 and .252. Let's take a closer, quick look at the configuration on the MX router required to steer the NATed traffic into the overlay where the web servers and the Firefly firewall VMs are running. We have a routing instance configured on the MX router, which includes the physical interface GE-1 slash 0 slash 9. And that goes to the F5 Big IP load balancer via the EX switch. It's on this interface that the NATed HTTP requests from the load balancer will actually arrive. We also have the VRF route target configured to match that of the LB virtual network, or VN for short. The LB VN anchors the Firefly service instance through which traffic will be routed to the BEDIP VN, where the web server virtual machines are connected. Now, by virtue of the service chain, the prefixes corresponding to the web servers are imported into the LB VN. 
and further by virtue of the common route target imported into the BEDIP01 VRF routing and forwarding table on the MX router. Let's see those prefixes as they're learnt on the MX and now part of the BEDIP01's route table called inet.0. Now, if we launch a new private browser window and try to go to the public virtual IP address, 10.102.53.13, we can see that the HTTP requests are handled in alternating fashion by both of the two Redmine web servers. All right, that concludes the Contrail cloud networking demo, showing physical and virtual services chained together and working brilliantly. Thank you for watching and see you next time.